proudly presenting my new books, especially this one, which is so new that it might be arriving next week from the press. It's about the Sydney siege that occurred two years ago. And the other one, the Boston siege, the marathon, which occurred 2013. Now here's another one, co-written with Dee McLaughlin, and it is called Port Arthur Enough is Enough, meaning we've had enough of the nonsense for 20 years about the fact that this young man, Martin Bryant, committed that massacre. No, he didn't. Truth in Journalism, same co-author, and we intend this book to show to students of journalism that, yes, there is actually such a thing possible as truth in journalism. Used to be taken for granted. Uh, I wrote this book for teenagers on etiquette, and I felt I didn't want my own name on it because of the other things I write, so I changed it to Fortunato Fifi. And at the end of each chapter is something about Shakespeare, and I noticed on the British Library cataloging, this book is in there as written by Fortunato Fifi and William Shakespeare, my co-author. This one is kind of a compendium of troubles in American courts, including even Bill Windsor. God, you gotta, you gotta give credit to Bill Windsor. Anyway, this book includes the stories of Pat Tillman, certainly of Troy Davis, may he rest in peace, and the um, Gallup v. Cheney court case, and some other court cases. Fraud Upon the Court by Mary W. Maxwell. Now this one, I see that this is cataloged in some libraries as alternative medicine. Well, that's fine. If that helps people go to that shelf, that's the thing they, they want to see. But to me, all the doctors in this book who found cures for cancer, mostly, say, around 1920, 30, heavily there, they, um, they were anything but alternative doctors. They were absolutely straight down the line orthodox folks. And... And they were doing good science and they found the cure, and, but then they were all punished. Except I think maybe one of them did not suffer during his lifetime, but that would be Cooley. And afterwards his daughter tried to promulgate his works and she met many blocks. Okay, what's the name of this? It's called Consider the Lilies, the one with the lilies, and 16, 18 a review of 18 cures for cancer and their legal status. 